How men can avoid hitting the wall. This is gonna be a very easy coaching video. You know why? Because for men, there is no wall. We don't have a wall, guys. Okay, only women have a wall. And a woman's wall is at 30. Okay, on average, her wall is at 30. Okay, even if she continues to look hot beyond the age of 30, she is much less fertile than she was 10 years earlier when she was 20. Okay, this is generally why no matter how old we get as guys, we will always be attracted to the youngest and most fertile women that we can possibly get our hands on. Okay, but when it comes to the wall for men, there is none. We do not have a wall. Okay, we just don't. And the reason why we don't have a wall is because we can keep building on our value. We can keep making more money. We can keep gaining more social status. Okay, whereas for women, most of their value is tied into their looks, into their physical attractiveness. And once that goes, so goes the wall, right? That's just the way it is. And I'm not saying anything that is, you know, groundbreaking here. This is just reality. You know, I know a lot of women are going to come into my comment section and be like, I can't believe you're saying this. It's like, hey, this is just reality. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you what you can see with your own eyes if you look around out there. Okay, take off the rose colored glasses and look around out there and you will see that most women hit the wall at 30 and for most men out there, there is no wall. Okay, there just is no wall unless you put a wall up for yourself. Okay, you can do that. You can start like just destroying your health. You can start destroying your finances. You can start gambling. You can start taking drugs. And then you create a wall for yourself, right? That's by your own doing. That's voluntary. Now, this is why I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do any drugs. I don't need to. Even when I'm out there doing game and pickup, I don't drink at all. I, I drink ice water. I know a lot of guys, they need to uh, have that liquid courage. They need to have a few drinks before they can approach. I don't do that. Okay, and I, don't, I train my students not to need alcohol in order to game women, okay? Because you don't, you don't. And when I'm out there doing game during the day, same thing, I got a bottle of water and generally a protein bar. And that is how I fuel myself. I don't use drugs, I don't use alcohol. There is no wall for you unless you create one, okay? Unless you start, forget the drugs and alcohol, say you start eating like shit. You start going to Taco Bell every night. You start becoming obese and now you're like 400 pounds overweight you could barely get around yeah now you're creating a wall for yourself okay because there's not gonna be a lot of a whole lot of women out there that are gonna want to date a guy like that but again these things are all voluntary not to mention these things can all be fixed right even if you gain 400 pounds I mean you could lose all that weight get six-pack abs put yourself in shape get back on track and then you could tear your wall back down right all of a sudden no wall Whereas women can't do that, okay? Because I know a lot of these women, and you've seen them too, right? They're out in the venues, and they'll be like in their late 30s, 40s, even women in their 50s. They're still out there trying to compete against the women who are in their late teens, early 20s, and there just is no competition. You know, and sometimes I feel bad for these women. Sometimes it's a little sad. But a lot of these women too, you have to wonder like, why are you still out here at the venues you know, you're already in your 50s. Why are you still here? You know, even women in their 30s and 40s, it's like, why are you still here? And even the younger women in their late teens, early 20s, they're looking at them like, why are they here, right? Why are my aunties here? Why are my grandmothers here? Why are people my mom's age here? I've heard a lot of these girls say things like that, just unapologetically, even loud enough so these older women can hear them. A lot of you women too who are watching this, you know that's true. You know why? Because you were those younger girls saying the same exact thing 10, 20, 30 years ago to the last generation of older women. You were saying the exact same thing. Okay, women hit the wall at 30, no matter how well she takes care of herself. And I've seen, and I know you've seen this too, you know, women in their mid 30s, like she might be 35, 36, still got a smoking body, still got a pretty face. It doesn't mean that, you know, she's not attractive anymore. She is, right? And there's always gonna be guys who are 
going to be willing to throw down with these girls. But can they attract the same high value males that they were once able to attract in their early 20s, late teens? No, no. Okay, and you're lying to yourself if you think you can, because you can't. You cannot attract the same guys that you did when you were in your late teens and early 20s. You just can't, because those guys are now going for the next generation of late teens, early 20s. You know, I know this for a fact because I'm one of those guys, right? I'm one of those guys where I've dated women, you know, when I first started out in game in the 90s, I was dating women generally around my own age, right? Early 20s, late teens. And now those women are all married off. Some of them are, you know, sadly still single, still out there, still trying to find, you know, their Prince Charming. And they've hit the wall. They cannot attract nearly the level of men that they could 10, 20 years ago. They just can't. Whereas I can still attract the same level of hot girl that I did 10, 20 years ago with ease. It's actually even easier now because my, my game has gotten better and I feel like I can kind of like almost like a Jedi or should I say Sith Lord where I can wield my lightsaber just blindfolded and I know exactly where to block. I know exactly where you're about to attack. Uh, it's like I could do this. I could do pickup sleepwalking now. It doesn't require much uh, mental exertion anymore like it did before. It was always like, oh my God, should I said this? Should I said that now? It's just like, it just flows. I just know exactly what to say and exactly what to do in each situation. No matter how bad the girl shit testing me, no matter what the situation is, no matter if there are AMOGs around me or anything like that, I know how to handle it. But, you know, for high value guys, I mean, they just continue to go backwards and just date the new crop of younger women. They don't go older. This is why whenever I have students in their 40s, like they're always new students going, shouldn't I be looking for a woman my own age who's kind of like, I have more in common with? And I'm like, oh my God, dude, stop rationalizing to yourself why you should date older women or a woman your own age. You should not be dating a woman your own age. You should be dating a woman at minimum, at minimum 10 years younger. Okay, but for my students, I tell them, hey, if you're in your 40s, you should be dating women in your 20s. They're early 20s. They're late teens. You could still get these girls. If I can do it, you can do it. If you're a man, there's no wall for you. I coached a guy who was, he just turned 30 years old, right? Guy just turned 30. Okay, this guy was acting as if the party was over. Acting as if he's too old now. And what do I do? And oh, no girl's gonna want me. I'm 30 years old. And I'm like, brother, I am much older than you, right? And I'm not out there playing the victim like, oh my gosh, I'm so old. I'm so old now, life is over. Like, are you kidding? Do you not understand gender dynamics? I'm like, do you not understand that a man's prime isn't even until he hits 35? So I had to beat into this guy's head. Actually, I had to beat out all of the uh, preconceived social conditioning that he's gotten his entire life and I had to replace it with truth, with knowledge that was factual, you know, because a lot of these articles and TV shows that you'll see being put out by the Blue Pill Matrix will try to make men feel as if we have a wall too. Just because women have a wall, they wanna make us feel like we have a wall too. You know why? Because A, it makes women feel good, right? Because everything's for women and B, they don't want us running around out there using our power to attract those younger, hotter women. They don't want us running around out there. Why? Because they want us to stick around to basically take care of all these women that didn't get married, you know, that kind of held out and thought they could have it all. Now they're, they've hit the wall, they're past their prime. They want us to save these women, like magically, like just push aside our own value, push aside our own needs and goals, push aside our own ability to get younger, hotter women and marry these women off, right? Take care of them because they're women. No, you know, you're a grown adult. You made your decision in your twenties. You didn't get married. You stayed out at the parties, the clubs, the venues. You know, you kicked the nice guys in the balls. You dated the, the jerks, the alpha males. And guess what? Now you're 40, 50, you're still single. Whose fault is that? That's yours. It is not the job of men to save you from your own poor decisions in life. Okay, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of the, the mainstream narrative and the blue pill matrix trying to socially engineer society 
to save women, save these older women who are doomed to live alone with cats. Okay, they made their bed, let them lay in it. Simple as that. You know, the women that I remember when I was in my 20s, the women that I grew up with, the women that I remember gaming in venues, the women that were like really cool girls that were like just nice and feminine and fun to hang out with, girls who didn't, were, who weren't mouthy and who weren't constantly being disrespectful to uh, their boyfriends, women who weren't constantly acting masculine in the relationship, women who weren't constantly placing these unbelievable demands on their partners. Okay, I'm talking about good women. These women got married off, right? The good women that I've met in field when I was in my 20s that were feminine, just cool, respectful towards their boyfriend, uh, very traditional, somewhat conservative in their values. Uh, these women ended up getting taken off the shelf. Guys are quick to snatch these girls up and put a ring on their finger. So if you're a good girl, right? If you're, if you're a cool girl and you know how to still be feminine, especially in today's very like anti feminine world. Okay. If you still know how to act like a woman and treat your man with respect, and that's really all it takes, he will marry you. Okay. Guys don't have a whole lot of standards when it comes to girls. We just want a girl who's hot, cool, and doesn't mouth off to us isn't disrespectful and doesn't have a potty mouth either you girl some of you girls like curse like a sailor it's like a huge turnoff i don't like that shit. some of these girls they just like every single word is like f this f that they can't get through a like a complete sentence without throwing in at least you know a dozen four letter words it's like golly cut it already right even my own coaching videos i really really try not to curse because i don't want to use curse words as a crutch Right, also in my real day-to-day -day life, I don't really like to curse so much anymore. I used to a lot, you know, when I was in high school, college, especially when I was playing football, it seems like all I did was curse. And now I've like, I see old videos of myself and I'm like, man, ugh. you know, I'm trying not to do that anymore, especially teaching. I'm like, I, I wanna get the message across professionally without needing to resort to, you know, childish juvenile language. Anyway, real quick, you guys keep going, hey, who's snoring in the car? Who's snoring in the car? Uh, it's my pug, actually. Okay. So recently, my pug, he uh, lost his ability to walk. He's 12 now. You know, I've had him since 2006. But he's 12 now, and he stopped walking about six months ago, so I'm carrying him around. I have to watch him 24-7. Uh, I've had to hire pet sitters when I go out, when I do games. Sometimes I just take him with me. Uh, a lot of girls like it too. They're always like, oh, you know, cute guy with a pug. You know, I've had girls like literally say that. So it kind of works out in our favor. Yeah, I've taken him to the best vets. I have one in Orange County. He's like one of the best in, in Southern California. I've spent well over 10 grand on this guy. I love him that much. But he's with me. A lot of times I've been shooting these coaching videos lately. So a lot of people are like, someone's snoring in your car. I'm like, it's my pug. Hello. So... He falls asleep really, really quickly too, because he already knows all the stuff. He's heard me talking about this, you know, from the day he was born. He heard me talk about like pickup and game and, you know, women hitting the wall and all this stuff. He knows all this stuff. Anyway, on with the coaching video. Just understand if you're a guy, you know what? Even if you're 40 years old, okay? Because I do have some guys in their 40s, th the party's not over, okay? If you haven't done anything with your life yet, you can still fix it, okay? You can still fix this. You can still go out there and attract hot women, okay? There is no wall for you unless you create a wall for yourself. That is the beauty of being a man. There's no wall for us, guys. There's none, okay? There's no wall for us. Don't let the, the social narrative deceive you into thinking that there's a wall for you and that you're if you're 30, you're over the hill, man. Oh, you know, another thing I love that comes out of the social... Uh, the social narrative is, oh, you're going through a midlife crisis. What are you doing dating these younger women, you know? Since I entered my early 30s, I was already hearing like, why do you need to date a girl who's 21? The very few respectful comments that I've had on my channel, even when I've done these very red pill videos that women don't like, the respectful comments have come from women who are married. Okay, they've been very respectful. There's no cursing. There's no personal attacks. Not, there's none of this like, Ooh, look at your shirt, look at your hair. Ah. You know, there's none of that. They're just very respectful, very mature. And 
the way they come across is just very, very pleasant, you know? And I could see why these women got married. I could see why a guy put a ring on their finger. But these other women who are like dropping these comments like, oh, you stupid player. And uh, it's just, there, there's so many nasty things these girls have said. I'm not even gonna repeat it, right? A lot of curse words, a lot of F you and this and that. These girls overwhelmingly, unsurprisingly, are unmarried, still single, well over 30 years old, most of them. And I always call them out on that too. I'm like, you know why you're here in my comment section hating? It's because you don't have anybody. You know why you don't have anybody? Because you can't hang on to a man. You know why you can't hang on to a man? It's that mouth of yours. You don't know how to shut it. You don't know how to shut your trap. If you just shut up once in a while and you're a little bit more respectful and you knock off the cursing and you just acted a little bit more feminine, maybe a guy would commit to you. He might be taking you on a date right now and you wouldn't have the time to sit here and hang out in my comment section hating on everyone, especially me. That's all I really wanna say for this coaching video is, you know what, there's no wall for us men. There is none. We just keep going like this, guys, right? We keep making more money. We keep getting into better shape. We keep climbing up the social ladder. We gain more social status, okay? Especially the older we get, the hotter, younger women we can get. Okay, a lot of you guys do not understand the power you have being in your 30s, your 40s, even you guys in your 50s, a few of you that are subscribed to my channel, you do not understand the power you have. Okay, and it's often not until I, you know, you actually go out with me that do you understand this power. I've had students in their late 20s thinking they're too old, and then they go out with me and they see me picking up girls 18, 19, 20, 21, like it's nothing. These girls making out with me, these girls blowing up my phone. And they're like, that's possible? You can do that? You know, they're just like blown away. It's like a whole new dimension opens up for them that they never thought was possible. And I tell these guys, like I'm telling you, I'm like, yeah, these are things that the mainstream narrative does not want you to know, does not want any men to know. Why do you think women are coming onto my channel all of a sudden trying to shut this down, trying to shut down our discussion here, trying to shut down all my red pill uh, series of videos lately? Why do you think they're doing that? Because they know it's a threat. Would they be here if we were like praising the matriarchy and doing videos about, yeah, just bring her flowers and be nice to her? What if that was the title of my video? Yeah, if you want a girl to like you, be nice to her and bring her flowers. That's all you need to do. She will like you. Yeah, you know how many guys have done that in history? How has that worked out? Okay, just ask those guys how that worked out for them. So long as you take care of yourself, okay, your diet, your fitness, your health, okay, take care of your finances, learn about investing, okay, take care of your money, keep climbing the corporate ladder or start a business, keep growing your business, Okay, just keep getting better and better. That's all you really have to do as a man. There is no wall for us. And do not let the mainstream media out there fool you into thinking that just because you turn 30 or 40 or 50, you're over the hill. Okay, that's another bullshit expression that I've heard my entire life since I was like five or six years old. It's complete bullshit. Okay, there is no such thing as over the hill. Right, and don't let anybody shame you for dating younger women or wanting to buy a sports car in your 30s, 40s, years, or 50s. That's the blue pill matrix method of shaming us for being successful as men in our 30s, 40s, and 50s. Like, oh, you're having a midlife crisis. Anything that they deem is a threat to women and the matriarchy and women ending up alone and dying alone with cats and you trading them in for a younger, hotter version of them, anything seen as a threat is going to be quickly shamed. And that is just another shaming tactic, okay? Oh, you're having a midlife crisis. No, you're not. You're just having fun. You're just being a dude. You're just being a guy. There's nothing wrong with that. So look out for those shaming words, guys. Midlife crisis and over the hill, shit like that. It's all coming from the matriarchy. It's all because you are posing a threat to the gynocracy. That's what it boils down to. I don't see them shaming guys who are fat slobs, no money, you know, letting their lives waste away in their 30s, 40s, and 50s. I don't see them shaming these guys. You know, and these guys aren't doing shit with themselves. We are. 
Like we're growing, we're continuing to become better and better versions of ourselves. This is why I say there's no wall for us. We continue to become better and better versions of ourselves. And because of that, we become more valuable in society. And a huge benefit to that is we become more attractive to the opposite sex, much younger women, a much larger variety of women, which the, the matriarchy does not like. Feminism doesn't like that shit. Are you kidding me? They don't want us out there having unlimited access to unlimited partners. That's why they shame us. It threatens their agenda for having all these chumps sitting around in their 30s and 40s to take care of these women and give them their money, right? Because these women were not smart enough to cash in their chips in their 20s. They didn't know how to shut their mouths and stop opening their legs for the bad boys and the jerks and kicking the nice guys in the balls. They weren't smart enough to do that. So now society expects us to take care of them. And if we don't, we get shamed for that because we finally got the money we want. We're finally getting the girls we want. We're finally getting the cars and the homes we want. So we get shamed for that, that we're having midlife crisis. Get out of here with that, all right? It's bullshit, guys. Don't fall for it, okay? Do not fall for it. This is part of those red pill truth bombs that I want you to wake up to. This is just another one of those red pill truth bombs that I'm dropping on you. So you wake up to that bullshit, all those lies that you've been fed your entire life. Okay, and a lot of your family and friends will probably regurgitate these same lies to you if they see you still out there in your 30s, 40s, 50s, still single, you know, living the bachelor life. Like, what are you, still a kid? You're not in high school anymore. I've got that too. But like I said, it's more shaming language. Do not fall for it. Okay, do not fall for it. Become the best version of yourself and just keep growing as a man, keep gaining that social status, keep dating hotter, younger women, and keep enjoying your life. Don't let the matriarchy or the blue pill matrix shame you otherwise. There is no wall for men. Never forget that, guys. There is no wall for us unless you put a wall up for yourself and you allow yourself to self-destruct. And assuming you don't self-destruct to the point where you kill yourself, you can still fix it. Okay, that's the great thing about being a guy. We can still fix this shit, right? We're never out of time. Even you guys in your 50s, you think it's over. It's not. You still have plenty of time. You could still fix this shit. Okay? There's no wall for us. There is no wall for men. And that's where I'm going to wrap up tonight. Until next time, this is M. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also, hit that notification bell up top so that you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to my channel, guys. It helps me out a ton when you guys actually subscribe to my channel. It lets YouTube know that you are digging my content and you want me to produce more of it. So make sure you smash that subscribe button as well. And for you guys who want to support my work and my content and everything I'm teaching guys here even further, the best way to do that is to jump into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months of Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you, no matter how old you are, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, even some guys in their 60s, how to go out there and approach and close the hottest women on the planet. I'm talking eights, nines, and tens. Okay, just like myself and my students do every single week, and I kid you not when I say that, we do it every single week. So if you want to support my work, the best way to do that is by jumping into seven months of mastery. It's only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons. So if you want to jump in, just click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It only takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video. Say hi. Hey, this guy is the best. <laughs> Everybody watching this, this guy is the best. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> All right, kind of fits the video. I get recognized from YouTube.